In 1889 the wealthy industrialist, Henry Tate, offered his collection to the nation. He subsequently offered to fund the construction of a separate gallery for British works of art. The National Gallery was founded in 1824 when the British government bought a collection of 38 paintings from the estate of the merchant John Julius Angerstein. The collection was first exhibited on May 10 of that year at Angerstein's house at 100 Pall Mall, but in 1838 it was reopened to the public in its current premises. This neoclassical structure, designed by the Greek Revival architect William Wilkins, was enlarged in 1860, 1876, 1886, and 1975, and in 1991 it was expanded further with the addition of the Sainsbury Wing by the American architect Robert Venturi. Until the opening of the Tate Gallery in 1897, modern British art was also displayed at the National Gallery. This is Suitcase Monkey, giving you the ultimate guide to the museums of London. So let's start with probably the safest suggestion on this list, London's Natural History Museum. From its iconic entrance, you know you're in for a treat, and with over 80 million items inside, you can expect all the natural wonders of the world beautifully presented and displayed. Now, if you're looking for something truly London, especially for train lovers, then definitely check out the London Transport Museum. Situated right in Covent Garden, it's an area you'll probably be in anyway, so it's an easy stop. As with other places on this list, I always enjoy specific themes within a museum, as it allows for a more focused and unique visit. Here, you're taken through the history of transport within London, which back then, to an extent, was leading the way around the world. Its opening does a great job of transporting you to Georgian and Victorian times, where public transport just didn't exist, 